In this video, I wanna talk about travel health and health in general. Follow along. Hey, you watching on right now? You're watching DC Born Rub on YouTube. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. Again, this video is gonna be about health and my journey. I touched on it a couple of videos before and someone in the comments section asked me, so I wanted to address it. This video is probably not gonna be for everybody, but if you wanna travel and you wanna be healthy or you wanna be healthy just in general at home, let me tell you what I've been doing because at this point, I've worked out all the kinks. Let me tell you. I got it down. I'm not perfect, but I got it down. So let me share what I know and what I've been doing for the past three months and why as well. So first of all, let, let's touch on this. For the past, I guess, 15 years, I've been wearing an N95 mask on airplanes way before there was a, even a COVID in thought, in our thought anyway. So because I had a trip years ago, I, I think I touched on this before. I had a trip uh, years ago for training. Uh, for a pony cell company. I was actually at a company called Micros at that time, which has been purchased by Oracle. Everything's been purchased. Anyway, I had to go to Las Vegas for a week for travel. Halfway there on the flight, I felt the tickle. That was it. By the time I landed and that next day, it was over. My whole week was done. I'll never forget. And thank you if the receptionist ever sees this. She, is, she was so sweet. She ran out and bought me everything. If cough medicine, you name it, nasal stuff, everything. But my week was shot. I did get to sit in like the last couple of days a little bit, but after that, that's when I started wearing the mask. So you will see me and you have seen me on a plane before. I have wet wipes. I wipe down the, the seat tray. I mean, the seat back tray. I wipe down the slot that pulls the window up. I wipe the little knob for the air, whether I'm going to touch it or not, or wipe down the seat belts, the arms, the button. I wipe down everything. This is why. This is why I did, because that one time I got sick and I swore I was never going to get sick again on my way somewhere. Coming back is different. You can be sick coming home. But if you're going to Medellin, you're going to Cartagena, you're going to Thailand, you're going to Mexico, wherever you're going to go and you're on vacation or, or even if you're going for work. Like I'm, I got a lot of trips planned throughout the rest of the year. I can't afford to be sick on the way. So this is why I do what I do. Not just just because I'm anal. I am. <laughs> I'm particular about. Uh, certain things. And I like being healthy. And now, especially now, I have more of an emphasis to to stay healthy. And, and my journey has begun. And now it's just a way of life. But I not only wipe down the airplane seat and wearing a mask, but you, you've you seen me before, too. When I get in my Airbnb or my hotel, I wipe down everything. Doorknobs, light switches, the, the grill, I mean, the knob on the uh, stove, the knobs in the bathroom. Use a separate one completely for the toilet. You know, get the I can get the knob first on the one I've been using on the light switches, but the seat that's a separate that's a whole nother deal. Cause when I sit on the toilet, I don't want to have to put toilet paper down. I want to make sure it's clean for me. So I go through all of this stuff just so I'm healthy on my trip. I spend a lot of money on travel. You spend a lot of money on travel. So why do you want to go and be sick? And some of you can relate to this. If you have been on a trip somewhere and you got there and you got sick, and I know a couple of guys right now, like within the last couple of weeks anyway, told me they got sick while they were there. And this is this is outside of COVID. Who wants to be sick on vacation? Who wants to be sick out of the country, even if you're working? I just did a trade show in Mexico. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to be around anybody else and get them sick. And it costs a lot of money to, to ship me there and whether I have to bring equipment and so on. I'm getting ready to go to, uh, to D.C. in a week and a half. Then I'm going to Canada and then I'm going to Puerto Rico. Uh, I have to go to Vegas and I'm probably in the northeast somewhere, New York, New Jersey at some point. And I got to get the Medellin. I got to get my teeth hooked up. Got to get right. So all of these things matter. But th at this point, uh, about three, well, let me go back uh, about a year and a half ago too. a year and a half ago. And if you've been watching me, then, you know, I, I, I was tired. I was fatigued. I was getting sick. I didn't know what it was. I was getting this stirring feeling in my stomach. I used to tell my ex, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just, I just wasn't motivated. And I didn't realize why until three months ago. Uh, you know that I went home. Well, those who watch me consistently know that I went home uh, for my closest friend. We've been friends since 14. Um, and you know how old I am now. So we've been friends a whole long time. He had to have a medical procedure. So I was like, I'm coming. 
flew out for that. And after that, he started telling me his regimen. He, we all, we started lifting weights when we were 15. So, you know, we had always been lifting our, our whole lives. So, but he kept going. <laughs> I must took a break, but he kept going and we about the same size, but he just built on uh, the bulk. Um, but anyway, so after his procedure, he started telling me, man, I'm, I'm eating right. And this is what I'm doing. And everything he was saying started triggering. OK, my mom's already told me this. All the stuff that she was doing. She didn't tell me about fasting, but um, but she had told me, eat my vegetables, all this stuff. Won't you cook your food, go grocery shopping. It's less expensive. I'm like, I, and I had an attitude. I ain't cooking nothing. I was just, I'm going to H-E-B and I'm getting them 10, $11 meals. And that was it. That's a wrap. I don't want to have to do, I ain't cooking nothing. I, that was my attitude. I had an attitude. I ain't cooking nothing. I'm tired. I come home. And the next thing you know, I work, I do a video, go to sleep. Sometimes I'm, I, I wasn't up early, but sometimes, you know, I start early in the morning, six o'clock, maybe now I'm up sometimes at five starting this stuff. But so that's where my journey began. And he would send me stuff periodically. And then my mom and then actually my sister got in shape, too. She's man. We all just been on that kick. So uh, I just want to go over a few things that I've been doing some supplements. I'm not going to get into the details on why I take them and so on. You can look up each one and, and why to take each one if you want. Um, but basically, I realized three months ago what the problem was for the past year and a half. And I was going through a breakup, man. It was terrible. It was, I was falling to pieces, man. Then she told me I couldn't see the kids anymore. And I still deal with that daily, man. But, but my health is up and my energy is up. And that that's the, my benefit. My joy right now is eating properly, which I cook. And I'm going to show you some pictures of my food. I'm cooking healthy. If it ain't from Trader Joe's sprouts, or Whole Foods, I ain't eating it. I ain't at Kroger's. I ain't at Randall's. I ain't at Wegmans. I ain't at none of those regular grocery stores. Don't trust what's in these grocery stores. Eat around the side of the grocery store. There's a reason that that uh, all the good food is around the side, because they want you to bypass that. They want you to go through all the stuff in the boxes and the sugar and the cereals and all this stuff. And I've been, I, I was diagnosed as uh, having pre-diabetes, uh, pre what, maybe 12, 14 years ago? No, I was still, yeah, 12, 14 years ago. But instead of my doctor saying, you need to start eating right. He said, here, take this pill. It's just going to get worse. Yeah, thank your grandmother, because my grandmother had it. So I just thought I was predisposed to, to having diabetes. Um, not until now, doctors in the medical field actually admit that it can be controlled by diet. Stop all the sugar. Stop all the stuff in the middle of the grocery store. And stop, I'm telling you, stop complaining about the price of best. That's the real food. You need to wonder why everything else is so cheap, you know, and fake meat and go buy meat. Look at the meat next time you buy it. And it says 20 percent solution like on a steak, 20 percent solution. How you get 20 percent? That's one fifth a solution, a solution of what? These same people eating this meat are the ones I'm, I'm going to pull it up. You're the same ones the saying you ain't going to take the vaccine, but you're eating all this other stuff, all these other carcinogens, man. We have no idea what's in that food and all these GMOs and, and all the pesticides and stuff. You have no idea how this affects you. OK, so anyway, three months ago, I realized that I had switched my water and that's what it was. I had switched my water to pH water, trying to be healthy because I read somewhere pH water. I was buying these five gallon jugs. You may have seen it in the background some, sometimes, big blue jug in the back. I was drinking this stuff religiously, but it was killing the acid in my stomach. So I wasn't getting my nutrition. I wasn't getting my vitamins. I was tore down. I was toe up from the flow up. I was dizzy. Still. I'm laying down. Oh, my. It would end my evening sometimes. I would just lay down. I'm just not feeling life right now. Well, I took some apple cider vinegar, got rid of that water. Apple cider vinegar, man, is the cure all. A lot of people use ginger, ginger ale to settle your stomach. Apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. The mother is the strings that are floating around into it. That puts the acid in your stomach. So all of a sudden I had this boost of energy. I don't know if I can find this video of me making beans, but I was speedballing. I was making beans. I was going, man, I don't know what's going on with, with, with this life, man, but I'm speedballing. I was flying. Ever since then, I started cooking right. I started researching on YouTube. 
I'm eating sauerkraut. I'm eating my vegetables. And I don't dislike the vegetables anymore. I used to hate vegetables. Now I can eat broccoli raw. I can eat broccoli cooked. Man, I, I can eat asparagus. Man, I, I'm eating all kind of crazy things that I never would have thought that I would be eating before. But after researching all this stuff and realizing that it was what I was eating and putting in my body uh, was the problem. So I switched to water, apple cider vinegar, got my gut right. Uh, then I started eating right, cooking my own food, meaning buying my own groceries and, co and cooking it and eating. That's it. No eating out, no sugar, no carbohydrates or low. You can't get away from carbohydrates, but a um, little bit of red meat. I introduced a little bit back, you know, a couple of eggs from time to time. You may see an omelet or something in some of my pictures, but fish, other seafood, shrimp, man, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. If you saw me in Guatemala, shrimp, 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 shrimp. Stop drinking. Other than, I mean, Mexico, I had a couple of shots. Okay. Before that, I had a few shots with my boss, what, a couple of weeks ago at his house with his wife, who are lovely people, man. They know how to entertain. I love just good people, man. But anyway, and, and he's healthy too. He's helped me with another ill, ailment. Most of my, I have three major ailments in my, in my life and all were solved, not by my doctor. Go figure. But anyway, um, so got my gut right, got my energy up. I'm flying. I'm speedballing. I'm telling you sometimes, man, I'm flying around here. Join the gym. Because obviously I'm in Houston. You can't walk in 100. You can't walk in 110. There's people that do it. I've seen people pass out. Before it was 100. So I ain't about to get out there. So I joined the gym. You may have seen the the, the short I did um, at Planet Fitness. So I, I'm Planet Fitness. So when I go to D.C., I can go to Planet Fitness. When I went to L.A. Um, in Pasadena, California, I went there. When I was in Chicago, I went there. That's where I made the video, actually. But let me tell you some of the supplements that I'm taking right quick before I show you the food. Uh, B complex, of course. These certain vitamins that you need, you're not going to get all of it in your food. Vitamin C, time released. So if you're going to use vitamin C, make sure it's time released because some, you know, vitamins, if your body don't use it, it comes right back out in your urine. Omega-3 fish oil. I don't even need to take that much because my gut is healthy right now. And I also, I'm eating sardines. I tried it with the bones. Wasn't happening, man. I, I can't eat nothing with no bones. And it. it was like eating that little chick from, from the Philippines. No. Baloo. No. No, no, no. So, but you can get it with skinless and boneless. And it's good. It's just like seafood, like fish. It's room temperature, but it's good. Anyway, I'm so I'm getting my uh, omega-3 from that also. Vitamin D and K2 in one bottle. They come together. Vitamin D and K2. And I use MCT oil in the mornings too. I put it in my uh, coffee. It stimulates ketones. You've heard people, I'm on a keto diet. I'm on a keto diet. That just means low carbs. And they, you can test your ketones in your urine. I don't do that uh, because I know I'm not putting hard. I'm hard because I buy it. Because I cook, I mean, I buy my own groceries and I cook it. I know what's in it. I know there's no carbs. And if there are, they're low. And I know it's good carbs. Okay? Like if I eat some fruit or some, some berries, uh, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. I may put those in my smoothies every once in a while. Um, but MCT oil stimulates that. And it, it goes straight to the brain instead of having to go through your liver. And you need to research all this stuff. Again, I can't get into the details. I spend hours and hours and hours uh, researching this stuff. Protein powder. I use a brand, and this was my partner who, who hooked me up with this one, Kachava. It's a meal replacement. Um, so you're getting 25 grams. I think it's 24 grams uh, per two scoops from that. I also mix that. Sometimes I'll take one scoop of the uh, gold standard, the Optimum Nutrition. You can see that at Walmart and everywhere else. It's in a red bag. You've seen that before, red and gold. Um, and I use amino, uh, amino energy and it's just, it's called amino energy. I, you see this at, uh, GNC, but don't go to GNC. Go, I mean, go to Walmart. It's in Walmart and take that a half hour before I actually go to the gym. So I go to the gym. I'm pumped. I got energy. Um, make sure you have some where you don't dehydrate. Um, you need that because that's the one thing, man. I was in the gym so hard, man. I was like, man, I'm, I'm going right past that. I didn't realize I was sweating it all out. Um, so make sure you get some Gatorade or some type of supplement with, with some type of sodium and potassium in it. Um, but, uh, and then I'm in the gym and I'm in the gym every day, really. But I have to force myself not to go sometimes. Sometimes I'm in there twice a day. You know, I may be walking in the morning and lifting at night. I lift, uh, three times a week. Really? I do biceps and lats. 
So the, the pull down is, is the lat, so you can get under here. Um, and back also, so you're pulling, you're still using your bicep. And then I do triceps and chest, because I'm pushing the same day and also do my delts. So I cover the outside and my chest that day. Um, and then one day I do legs, but I'll do sit-ups and all that stuff. I do ab work almost every day because you can't do too much ab work. Okay. So I stripped off, man, sometimes I weigh myself. I think this scale is broken. Um, I ain't even going to say how much I weigh because I think this scale is broken. But I know I changed my whole wardrobe. I sold like 25, 28 pair of pants and, and four shirts to somebody for 50 bucks. Uh, I was like, this got to go. I can't wear this no more, man. I went down to a waist of a 32. And sometimes even with that 32, it's loose around my waist because I have no almost almost none around my waist. If anything, I got a quarter of an inch of skin instead of fat. So I stripped all that off, man. I'm, I'm, it's like this is my weight that I should be because I'm not going to say all black men, but black men may have uh, because we, we may be athletic. We have more bigger legs, bigger thighs, and a butt. And that butt, you know, will tighten up your pants, you know, make your pants not fit well. So now I lost all that. I'm fitting all my stuff right. I had to go buy a couple of new belts because, I, I mean, I had like eight, pair, eight belts because I would go somewhere and forget to take a belt and I had to go buy a new belt. Uh, so I had to go buy a couple of new, new belts. But and that's it. So that's eating right. That's jam. Oh, and, I, and the other days I'm on a treadmill. Um, so I went this morning. Some mornings I just get up at five o'clock in the morning, five, maybe five twenty, five twenty five. I'm at the gym. I roll out of here. I, I live like especially that early. I'm six, seven minutes away. And then I just hop on the treadmill and do some sit ups like that. And within 45 minutes, no, an hour on the treadmill. For some reason, it does it in an hour increment. So I'll do three. 3.6 miles, and that's actually the speed of the treadmill. Put it on like, I don't know, what is it, like four and a half on the elevation, so, you know, there is an incline. And now sit on the, uh, they have this aqua massage that goes up and down your back. Um, and it's only $25 a month. That's the black card. Otherwise, you just want to work out, it's like $10. Um, but I try to go when there's not a lot of people there. But uh, I'm, I'm there, or in the evenings, I eat at 6 o'clock, and I'm at the gym at eight o'clock. So also one thing my partner uh, told me was um, fasting, intermittent fasting. And that's what really changed everything on top of eating right and cooking my own food, intermittent fasting. That means I don't eat breakfast. At first he's like, you need to go 12 hours without eating. I'm like, man, I gotta eat. I'm diabetic, I start getting weak. He's like, man, just try it. I said, well, do that count with me sleeping? He said, yeah. So I'm like, okay, well shoot, I'm probably doing that now. If I eat at seven and I wake up at seven, which I was, then that's 12 hours right there. So then I start stretching it out, stretching it out. So then just as a routine on days where I'm not lifting, I eat at 12 and 6 p.m. That's it. And I'm eating healthy, 12 and 6 p.m. And then on other days when I'm lifting, I want to put a little bit more protein in me. I'm eating at 10 a.m., 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. But I don't eat after 6 p.m. except. When I was in Mexico a few days ago, I mean, I didn't get into at nine o'clock at night. I hadn't eaten and they had us trapped on a plane. I'd eaten all my nuts, you know, and I always carry nuts with me too. So raw nuts, I'm actually eating raw nuts and I can't tell a difference anymore. Once you start eating healthy, you can't tell what you used to think was bad is actually not bad. But eating out, man, there's so many carbohydrates. You think it's fat in a McDonald's uh, meal? There's more sugar. You got to worry about the sugar and that stuff. Sugar. And carbohydrates and a Big Mac. And you wouldn't figure that. You know, the oil, man, there's so much to, to, to uh, eating out. and eat. If you're eating out, you're probably eating unhealthy. Okay, I've had two desserts. I had one on my birthday the other day, and then I had one on my mom's birthday, Trish Leches. Oh, my God. I, I'm still fiending for that. And I don't like sugar. I don't like sweets. But anyway, that's it for the past three months. I've been rolling with it. But so now you see what I've been doing. So let me show you some of the food that I have been cooking all this.
So there you go. I mean, that's what I'm doing. So it just took somebody asking me, hey, go ahead and put out a video on what you've been doing to get healthy. And it's working. And I, I, I'm stripped. Um, I'm, I'm ripped. I don't know if I showed you a picture already. I, it's, it's, I mean, I'm, this is the, the best health I've been in my life as an adult. Let's put it that way. So anyway, travel safe and travel healthy. Talk to you guys soon.